lot of times people say things that aren't true, that they're saying for clout, for attention. And so I just, I was like, nobody's going to believe this. This very dark man fellow has, he's always, you know, um, notoriously saying things, sometimes true, sometimes not. So I was like, I think people know this guy is notorious. I don't think anybody's really going to believe this. It's a whole mess, a lot of allegations. And when you are, you know, throwing around these kind of allegations, you have to be, you have to have evidence. And I would think any reasonable person, knowing that there are laws against defamation, before coming on the internet to say, oh, this person said this and this and this, or did this, or fast-tracked this, or helped this person achieve this, before saying all that, I would believe that you would have Let hard me proof. The truth. the truth of this matter is because this audio came out from the very dark man. That is just the problem. If this audio come out for a journalist, where no journalists or an activist, they will treat this case differently. But because this audio is coming from the very dark man, that is Nigeria problem. Reputation. When I leave this matter that you're supposed to treat, you are talking about, do you know who is my father? Do you know my father's reputation? You want to spoil reputation? Who is talking about reputation here? Yeah. Which reputation are you defending? Where the country is corrupt? Did Bobby still go to prison? Yes or no? We are not fit answer that question. When they tell us say, that they cheat some people differently. J na J. Why would they give some people VIP? This person committed this crime. This person committed the same crime. They should go to the same J. Put woman for woman, put man for man. When Bobisky registered in that prison, he registered as a man. As a man. Now he registered for court. Go back and check the name. Guys, I'm not going to waste on our time. I beg, if you never subscribe, take this opportunity, hit that subscribe button. I beg, share, love and like. And listen to this video, please. Follow me on Facebook and TikTok. Make less regard the video, guys. This very dark man fellow has, he's always, you know, um, notorious. Madam, this will be the final and last warning. If you go on anywhere again, I'll call my name. You know, go like what you will come up from my mouth. I will not warn you again. Don't play. Else, I swear to God, you're going to learn and you will learn the hard way. Let's see in court. Rubbish. Welcome back to Wo Ishele TV. The control and for your write up, you call me ridiculous fellow. Now you don't they call me notorious. You understand? Right? That man is notorious. First of all, before I even talk, go far. Who are you in everything? You understand? And secondly, sir, before you downplay me, you understand? Without your father, who are you? Without your father, I don't even remember your name. That's why I call you foul sister. I don't know who you be without this thing. I didn't even know your father had a daughter before this. So when they call me ridiculous, they call me uh, notorious, you better watch your bound. We already said we are going to court. We already said we are going to court. Let's go to court. The Why very dark man is so hard. You claim cloud chaser and now you they go use my name till they chase clouds. Yeah, so this girl too. For Madame, calling you notorious. Don't so act hard. as if very dark man woke up in the morning and just call names. You understand? Now the name went for audio now call. Now the name went the audio and call. As soon as I don't decide, say, okay, when I won't leave, who call on a name. For instance, where they commit atrocities, and when I won't call for me, where the soft spot, no Allah. I got no problem with that, fam. Do you understand? If they talk, everybody, they talk, hey, this is, no, see, hey, now law will not be. Now law has to not be, now be God. I don't talk and be fast. Say, for take six months. You won't want me past six months. You don't go past like that. Make like a shake. I'm an Edo man. I will not shake for you now. If they call, they talk. If they leave me and you for a certain court, I go even win you. Because you don't even feel, you don't even savvy talk. I don't want to insult you. But don't call me names. He's a ridiculous fellow. Now you don't act notorious on top. You push go and check the meaning of these words. Go and check the meaning of these words. If your people, your people can represent themselves, which will be all this way, they go jump up and down, they do. You don't see opportunity. The daughter that nobody ever knew existed. Hmm? If not so they, they jump, 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 jump. 
When your guy man told say Mr. Yakubu, I must be frost star. You know, talk down and say you refer to the man as frost star. Now you're going there for the girl power. You know, talk down and so they call him now. When you be me originates the name now, a problem. <laughs> After what he has done for Nigeria, what has he done? You understand? What has he done? I can bring out everything I've done. NSAS. I went for NSAS. They nearly caught me. Do you understand? I fight. I stand for front of that bigger bridge like this. I fight. When those boys come break, break people car glass. I jump down. You understand? I do one because I be patriotic six season. Nobody because of anybody know me. Do you understand? Look at your mouth. They talk to me. They call me ridiculous and notorious. Don't let me curse you. But this is just the final and last warning. If you go on any podcast, just leave my name. If you want to talk about me, talk about me. Don't add names to it. Notorious, ridiculous. Stop it. Mm -hmm. uh, fast sister. Like I said, I don't know your name and I don't ever want to know your name. If you get personal beef with it, it's obvious. If like I say I don't call out one of your friends before where they do bad things. Is it possible now? I don't call out. Maybe I don't call out one of your friends where where collect person money before he pay you because all of now the beef one I get for me be that. When I we people want to be able to do things and nobody will talk. Madam, this will be the final and last warning. If you go on anywhere again, I call my name. You know, go like what you go come up from my mouth. I will not warn you again. Don't play. Else, I swear to God, you go and learn and you will learn the hard way. Let's see in court. Rubbish. I'm true that they're saying for clout, for attention. And so I just, I was like, nobody's going to believe this. This very dark man fellow has, he's always, you know, um, notoriously saying things, sometimes true, sometimes not. So I was like, I think people know this guy is notorious. I don't think anybody's really going to believe this. It's a whole mess, a lot of allegations and when you are, you know, throwing around these kind of allegations, you have to be, you have to have evidence. And I would think any reasonable person, knowing that there are laws against defamation, before coming on the internet to say, oh, this person said this and this and this, or did this, or fast-tracked this, or helped this person achieve this, before saying all that, I would believe that you would have hard proof or evidence before you do something like that. Hello. Because at the end of the day, People work really hard to build their reputations and you cannot just wake up one day and decide because, yeah. you know, you think you're popular on the internet. Which we Listen to the second now, part. Correctional service mm. has buildings. The list, you know. That accommodate convicted criminals and awaiting trials, including condemned criminals. When they enter the prison for the first time, just, they have to put them confused. on proper recording. No, no, what did they talk? Who is this image? Where is it to be kept? This man we are discussing today is neither here nor there as a man or a woman to be recognized. Are we going to say he is a man or he's a woman? Now, thank God he openly confessed to the to the judge that tried her at the magistrate court. How or him? How or him? You see, the, the, the confession is is on, I, I, that is where I don't want us to over celebrate. He registered himself as a man. He's a he. If, if I explain the. The setting up of the accommodation. Accommodation is for con condemned prisoners, CC, those who have been sent. They are apart. Share this video, guys, they and leave a comment in the comments with section. other inmates. The second accommodation is convicted inmates who are the owner of the prison because a waiting trial has not been tried. The accommodation that is provided for all male, are they going to bring a dress with a transgender body look to go and sleep in the general cell with general prisoners? That is where it comes in. That the first thing the record will do is to now say, okay, how do we treat this 
type of woman. She's not a woman, neither a man, neither a fish nor frog. <laughs> so that, eh? Well, she identified as a man. She's a man. She identified as a man. That, 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 that is so. That's a man. man. That, that, that's a man. That's a man. The Nigerian law does not. Uh, He's not a man. Understand the. Uh, He's a transgender. Transsexuality. No, but he. he no, but he identified as a man. <laughs> Hey, but, uh, what of our body fiction? The correctional center is a legal entity. In exactly. Uh, so they now look for a way not to disturb because she can cause heavy light. No, 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 no. You see now. He identified as, as a man. So we we'll have to take so what let's I'm telling let's... you how the, I was in the prison. I spent 10 years in the prison. Okay. I am not telling you stories. All those stories you are hearing. Majority of those who are contributing don't know anything that is going on in the prison. Yeah, but your time was in the seventies. Where that seventies? The time is different I was, now. I was in the prison day before yesterday. I was at Kirikiri Maximum. Not for for uh, his problem, but for uh, the correctional message you mentioned now, which they are introducing. Now they now say, okay, how do we do it? They now say, okay, let us give him. A special place. It is like that in the prison. They call it for protective custody because they will tear him to pieces because of her body, of his body look. He looks like a woman. He, he, he moves like a woman. So for her to go to any cell, there are chronic homosexual inmates that are very hungry to go to any length to tear anybody, even the ones that are not uh, 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 transgender. They, they try to rape what, them. What would they tear? <laughs> that is why I'm saying the, 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 the purpose of giving her that rule out. Okay, okay. okay. Bishop. Fantastic. Nigeria is not preparing for transgender. Bob Risky, look at the confusion you are putting everywhere. Now, um, there's a video I watched. Somebody was uh, blaming the very dark man for releasing the audio. That the very dark man was supposed to release the audio. If for whole and first, because Nigeria is not settled. Uh, for, because the, uh, the very dark man releases audio. See, castle everywhere, everywhere they scatter. I, I, I'm kind of. What are you guys talking about here? Treat the case, my friend. Treat what is on the ground. Did Bob Easy go to prison, yes or not? That is the case. That's why we are here. Not the very dark man releasing audio is only the lost audio. That is not the point. The point is the corruption issue that is happening in Nigeria. They treat people differently. That is the issue we have. Guys, I'm going to leave you here to listen to her, what she's saying, and I want you to drop your comment at the comment station. Me, I know they talk again though, because. According to the very dark man, you all will learn. <laughs> you all, when I tell you, we will do this edas that is doing all these things. In fact, look at what this man is saying. Just beating around the bush, keep on saying him, ha, yeah, ha, him, him. This guy registered himself in that court as a man. You should be treated as a man. You are not supposed to be treating anybody differently. And for those of you that I said, so the very dark man, so the very dark man, what are you saying, very dark man for? Waiting very dark man talk in that audio that you are saying. Now, you are saying you want to sue the very dark man. That is, uh, is insulting your father. Not be so you talk just now. The very dark man will sue you for insulting him. It's defamation of character as well. If we say we could keep on suing anybody we talk, that means all of us could sue each other now. Make could they talk suit. You have already insulted him on a public place, calling him a notorious guy, calling him this, calling him, you call him names. That means he will sue you too. What about if the very dark man sue you for calling him this name? Where do people go talk? If I mean very dark man, I will petition you back. Because when artists will not be God, not be God, not be woman be. We are all one. Stop treating people differently. I've said it before. This audio they cause trouble because it comes from the very dark man. If now somebody else release them, I bet you guys we will not be hearing all this. Therefore, don't they treat this case. ESCC. We are not supposed to investigate the matter. People are supposed to investigate you people. Other agency, I don't know what they will call them. But I don't see if now abroad. Noble now supposed to. It is not the very it is not the AES is supposed to be investigating themselves. 
Somebody else supposed to investigate ESCC. I saw me and no Arish, and I saw I talk Arish. I don't know what to think. Try to leave your comment for comment station. Subscribe if you never subscribed. If you never follow me on Facebook, please follow us and leave your sincere um, opinion at the comment station. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you. And God bless you. Your reaction first as sister to Files, the bad guy, and daughter to um, your father, of course, uh, Femi Falano. And of course, as a lawyer with Falano and Falano. <laughs> Um, I think my initial reaction was um, obviously not to take it seriously because unfortunately the way social media works, people say things, a lot of people say things. And a lot of times people say things that aren't true, that they're saying for clout, for attention. And so I just, I was like, nobody's going to believe this. But then, um, you know, because also this very dark man fellow has he's always you know um notoriously saying things sometimes true sometimes not so i was like i think people know this guy is notorious i don't think anybody's really going to believe this you know but um you know the more it played out the more bizarre it got and you know people saying all sorts of just outlandish crazy things and you know the questions that i had for people it's not it's not rocket science, right? Um, this person claiming that, first of all, what was on the voice note that Very Dark Man was playing and what he was saying and insinuating are different things. Because the supposed audio recording that obviously was illegally obtained by the way, um, you know, Bob Risky obviously asking this person for money, saying that, oh, I need so and so amount of money because I've been told that, you know, the only way to get out of this ruckus is to get a presidential pardon. Before I go on, I need to state categorically that you don't need to pay any presidential pardon. Pardons can be applied for. You don't even have to be a lawyer to apply for a pardon. By the way, anybody can apply to the president for a pardon. It's not something you need to pay money for. But we know because, again, Bobrisky released a list of people he called to ask for money. So we know that he called several people to ask for money. Um, you know, he told them he needed, he told some people he needed money to stay in a more, um, what's the word, the VIP portion of the prison. Obviously, he's telling this person on the, you know, recording that, Oh, I need the money to pay the Ministry of Justice so that my case can be fast-tracked to get my presidential pardon. So now to go from that to what Very Dark Man was saying, which is that, oh, the money that was paid was to Femi Falano and that Fals was the one who helped Bob Risky speak to Femi Falano and ask for that money for the presidential pardon. We're now talking about completely different scenarios here. And then he takes it as far as saying that, oh, um, are Fowles and Bob Risky involved? Are they lovers? We're just varying completely off track. Now back to the recording. You know, if we're saying, we're looking at what was on that report, there's an allegation that, you know, EFCC took money to reduce your charge then there's the allegation that you were going to pay somebody in the ministry of justice to make sure that your application for the presidential pardon is fast tracked and then we're now talking about what very dark man said which is that oh um files reached out to Bobrisky, helped him organize this and this and that it's a whole mess a lot of allegations and when you are you know throwing around these kind of allegations you have to be you have to have evidence and i would think any reasonable person knowing that there are laws against defamation before coming on the internet to say oh this person said this and this and this or did this or fast tracked this or helped this person achieve this before saying all that 
I would believe that you would have hard proof or evidence before you do something like that. But of course, not everybody thinks things through before they do them right. So now, I mean, as you know, um, files, both files and, you know, my dad have come out to say, first, my dad has said, I never spoke to Bob Ruski. I have never spoken to Bob Ruski. I, I barely know who Bob Ruski is, you know. I just know that he's some social media personality that you people are talking about. I have no idea who Bob Ruski is. I never spoke to him. Nobody, you know, spoke to him on my behalf. Not by proxy, not directly. No communication with this guy. Secondly, Fal said, I heard from Bob Ruski, but it was to collect, to ask for three million naira from me to be placed in the VIP section of prison. I had no idea that Bobruski was trying to pay for a presidential pardon. He never discussed that with me. So you see that where, you know, the issues are completely different. And so you are, we are now in defamation territory because we heard the portions of the voice notes that Barry Dachman played and what he said, two different things. All right, yeah. Let, let's Why are you defaming people? All right, we have a video. I'm hoping that we have the correct one this time. Let's quickly take a look at what was said in that video and we'll come back to the conversation regarding Falarin Falano, aka Falls the Bad Guy, and your father, uh, Femi Falano. I had to call Eli Lay again because there's nobody for me to call. Eli Lay gave me, uh, gave me one, uh, two million, the balance of two million. So now, the so I'm supposed to come out in. Um, I'm supposed to come out in what's it called? Ending of July next month. Okay. 29th. Okay. His father is a is a son. So first reach out to me. His father spoke to me. His father said we can apply for pardon. Um, this is not really the full video. I, I remember that at some point uh, he had said something in line with asking, you know, why Files was in a way maybe supporting him and saying something in the line of Files' song. Uh, that's, of course, uh, quoting the line where he talked about people criticizing him. Uh, so he, so the, some of the reactions that we've seen to that is people saying that he did not outrightly call him that and he did not outrightly say that they had a thing. So uh, talk to us about your claims, the word Falano and Falano is asking. You've asked for a retraction of that statement and you've asked for an apology, which uh, it doesn't seem like you'll be getting. So talk to us about the defamation aspect to it and what the next steps are, seeing as there might not be any apology. I mean... Again, you know, speaking about the, the defamation, he clearly said, you know, our files and Bobruski involved, you know, we don't have all day to dissect the video, but if anybody has time, go on the internet, the video is there. He said at some point in the video, our files and Bobruski involved, and then he quoted the portion of Files' song where Files talks about persecuting homosexual people. And he said, oh, is this why you released that song? You know, what are Fowles and Bobruski doing together are they involved? So there's no, um, th there's no confusion as to whether he insinuated that or not. Now, um, you know, we wrote him, gave him the opportunity to retract the statement and apologize. Um, instead of apologizing, he um, came back online, did a video saying, oh, um, I did not. Um, oh, I could. I, I would. I could never insult him. Um, um, first of all, on previous on his previous videos, he you know he said Femi Falano, I'm disappointed in him. How can he be involved in this? Blah blah blah. And then he comes back and is like, Oh, I really respect Uncle Femi. I I can you know I can never insult him. Somewhat <laughs> doubling down, but also not apologizing. You know, it wouldn't have cost you anything to say, okay, maybe I got a bit carried away. Um, I didn't get my facts right. And I didn't mean for this to, you know, to cause all this ruckus. I'm sorry. Two seconds would have cost you to do that. But of course, you know, you're chasing clouds. You're trying to maintain, you know, a persona. You want the attention. That's okay. Obviously, the next steps that we're looking at is, you know, 
going to court because at the end of the day, people work really hard to build their reputations and you cannot just wake up one day and decide because, yeah. you know, you think you're popular on the internet, you are going to come and throw all that hard work away. I mean, um, there's so many, um, so many questions here. Um, neither you nor myself nor, um, you know, Mr. Dotson sitting with you in the studio can, you know, confirm whether or not, you know, Bobruski was in prison. But I mean, if people visited him in prison and if the corrections officers have records of him actually being in prison, serving his time, have we, you know, considered the possibility that this is just one of those cases of people, you know, saying things for clout, lying for clout, um, I, I'm almost certain that all the things he said on that call, assuming again, we can't even, you know, verify whether, you know, that phone call happened or didn't happen. Right. Because we weren't there. Yeah, but and he's not even denying the phone call. That's the interesting thing. He's not even denying the, you know, the phone call. Well, apparently, know, that, that he's well. had, apparently he had released um, a statement, um, saying that, um, that wasn't him on the call. Um, and I think he eventually took this down, but I did see a screenshot of him saying that was not him on the call. Um, but even if it was him on the call, um, he was on that call to ask for money. One. Two, um, we know how these characters, especially these social media characters, we know how some of them can be. They say things that are not true. They say things because they are trying to you know get a certain response from you they say things because they want you to do something for them he was obviously you know trying to paint a picture of oh you know these people are helping me with this so give me this amount of money he published the whole list of the people that he got money from when he was in prison because he was calling I, I, I bet you that he probably did not call less than 100 people. He was calling people, and I spoke to a few people who said, oh, yeah, he called me, said he needed money, you know, legal assistance, this, um, help to maintain himself in prison, that. And some people sent him money. So I'm sure he was on that call to get money. And I'm sure the, some of the things that were said on that call, I know for a fact that some of the stuff said on that call are just not true. For example, at no point did Faust speak to his father about Bobruski or a partner. It just didn't happen. Yeah, so but, but we also, also, also for like I mean, one of the things that was a little confusing was, you know, who initiated the call? Was it Faust who, or Falari rather who initiated the call or was it, you know, Idris Okunaya? No, Bobruski reached out to Faust saying that um, I would like to speak to you. I need help. Okay. And he assumed he needed legal assistance or something, you know. So he said, okay, how can I help you? Like, what's going on? I think he was, he, he called, Bobriski then called, because um, he must have sent a message saying, oh, please, um, I need to talk to you. I'm trying to reach you or whatever. And then Bobriski called him and he said, oh, um, please, oh, I'm trying to raise money. Um, so that I can stay in a more conducive part of the prison. Right. You know. And just to, you know, finally That's clarify, what? even though we have recognized that everyone is entitled to legal representation, in this case, uh, you, you're confirming that your father, Femi Falano, was not in any way representing Bob Riske. Not, not him, not Fals, not Falano, Falano. None of us were ever briefed All right. on Bob Riske's matter. Okay. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Senior Associate, Fa Associate Falan and Falan and Principal Partner, FNF Legal, and CEO of Folk Consulting in the UK. Thank you very much, Falakemi Falana, for joining us on the show this morning.